Jake Yancey, Track and Y Ranch. Hey, just want to show you guys something. Uh, so this is an inside pole. So this is kind of a sweeper corner that we're in. Uh, this is a Gallagher, they call them real insulators. Some people refer to them as donut insulators. Uh, but this is how we install them. Uh, the reason why, as you can see, that electric line, the one running up and down the fence, is well protected. And we got a couple good wraps on there that hold it tight. Uh, it can be a little tighter. I'm sure there's some fence guy going, God, I wish I was tighter. But uh, it's nice and secure. Uh, but I will show you what the problem is if you do donut insulators another way. And this is exactly it. Uh, this is a discount and off-brand uh, one. Gallagher makes one of these as well. They do call it a donut insulator. Uh, but this is an improper install. And this is part of the reason is you can see that electric wire now has slid down and is resting on uh, the wire that goes around this post. We're in the Pacific Northwest. It's incredibly wet right now. Uh, so this is not how to install these donut insulators. Uh, here's the problem. Uh, normally if tension is going to hold it, that's good. But unfortunately all it takes is a bump and it bumps down. And then once again, we go down here to a properly installed uh, donut or as Gallagher calls them, a real insulator, uh, R-E-E-L. And you can see how that's done. So I uh, hope you guys enjoy this. Yeah, take a look. Uh, that's how you're supposed to do them.